Hey, what's going on YouTube? We're on to review number 99, and today we're playing DuckTales. Now, if you were a kid in the late 80s slash early 90s, you knew exactly what DuckTales was. It was probably one of the more memorable Disney cartoons, and alongside with others like Darkwing Duck and Tailspin, this was pretty popular back on the Disney afternoons. So naturally, they would make a video game of it, of course. Since this is around the time that Capcom and Disney seemed to have a partnership together, Capcom cranked out lots of really great Disney titles, and this one is no exception. The music and gameplay are pretty much flawless in this game. I didn't have a single problem at all playing it, and every time I died or screwed things up, I did feel like it was all my fault, so the AI and level design is just fine. I really don't think this game is probably going to be over an hour, even though I've never actually beaten it. I don't think the fact you can't save your progress would be too much trouble. And if you look at the cover of this game, hey, if you liked DuckTales back then, you would have picked this one right off the shelf immediately. But I mean, if you didn't like DuckTales, or didn't know what DuckTales was, you'd probably be a little less inclined to pick it up. But let's take a look at the back of the box and see what this game has to say about itself. Bless me bagpipes! When will that thrill-seeker Scrooge McDuck ever quit? Never one to turn away from adventures, Uncle Scrooge has taken on his greatest challenge to discover the legendary five lost treasures and become the richest duck in the world. Join Scrooge and the DuckTales gang, Gung Ho Flying Ace Launchpad, the nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and little Webby on their search. Together, they must trek through the treacherous Amazon jungle down into the diamond mines of Africa and even to the moon. Are you duck enough to join them on their adventure? Come along to Duckburg headquarters and see for yourself. So I like the description. I think it's it's cute. And it describes the game pretty well. And you know, as a kid, I would have enjoyed this game quite a bit. And playing it now as an adult, it's just as fun. So overall, I'm going to have to give this game a 10 out of 10. There really wasn't anything I could find wrong with it. I mean, there's a couple of minor things here and there, but nothing I would really want to dock the game points for. And in the end, I'm going to end up keeping this one in my library. So thanks a lot guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next review. Bye.